This is the last hurrah. Exactly. Everybody, this is the last uh, YouTube video with Graham Rose. I'm moving out tomorrow. So we're going to ask her some questions. You guys have been asking for a Graham Rose interview. One of them, I'm sure, is um, how do you put up with him? <laughs> why haven't you kicked me out yet? Because See? I've got rocks in my head, that's why. Come on. But don't, don't I help you a little bit, though? A lot, too? You help me? Do I or what? With the, with the, with the uh, videos? No. Well, not with the videos. I mean, maybe... Oh, yeah, you help around that. I'm going to miss that. Yeah. Who's going to take the trash out? <laughs> that's, that's not it. <laughs> no, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss you very much. I'm going to miss you, too. Um... Let's see, another question that the YouTubers ask is, where did you come from? Like, Where did I come from? Yeah. The air. I was born in Brooklyn, where New York. Well, I'm an original Dodger fan, and I always will be a Dodger fan. Well, you told me you liked the Yankees. Yeah, I did. I used to like the Yankees first because my uncle George, God rest his soul, was a Yankee fan. Uncle George? The my Uncle George, not yours. I would love to hear some stories about the other Uncle George. Uh, you know, your husband's brother, Uncle George. Well, I would he was love very, to... very, no, well, I don't, didn't really know him that well. He was he very eccentric. How so? Well, he used to speak so fast you couldn't understand a word he was saying. <laughs> and he had retired from the Army. He was a major, almost ready to become a colonel. And uh, I don't think he thought so well about going to Vietnam. And so he, he left the Army and... Uh, then when I first time I met him, I heard him speaking. I thought, how do his troops understand him? <laughs> what more do you want? I want the good. I want the good stories. Like uh, that was a good story. Can you, Can you tell me how he uh, sawed He's, down? Tried to saw down the house. Well, I, I wasn't. Didn't, he was a child then. <laughs> he was a child. He, and he tried to, to saw down the house. He, I was. This is stories that I heard. He was sawing the. Uh, one of the pillars at the front of the house. And uh, his mother comes running out, what are you doing, I'm gonna get the house to fall. <laughs> and oh, another time he, they had fish in a fishbowl. He took the fish out and started frying them. <laughs> How do you like that? I heard he painted his dog green. <laughs> oh yeah, he started to paint the dog. <laughs> and they all had a fit. What color was his hair? His hair? Yeah. Oh, he, t he dyed it red, yeah. When he start turning gray, <laughs> he dyed his hair. It shocked everybody. That's pretty cool. That was. Uh, that's Uncle George. That's Uncle George. God rest him. Now, did you have anybody in your family that was like an Uncle George? No. No. Uh. -uh. We were all pretty normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all normal, right? <laughs> yes, I'm telling you. Let's find out how normal our family is. <laughs> How'd your mom and dad meet? She was going to school, she was just 16 years old. And he went and waited for her to come out of class. He was 18. And he told her, he asked her to run away with him. And she said, how can I run away with you? My mother and father would kill me. He says, come on, if you don't, kill, if you don't run away with me, I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, very dramatic. Yeah. And so she went with him. They, That's totally normal, they, right? They went to, <laughs> totally they, normal. Totally normal, yeah. Just to clarify, so your dad, when he proposed to your mom at the school, um, and he th when he threatened to, you know, kill her no, and himself... No, he didn't threaten to kill her. That was your father. No, forget. I don't know where you got that from. He threatened to kill himself if she did. He would never threaten to I kill her. I thought he threatened to kill her and, and no. himself. No! He didn't do that. Now, take that off. All right. And, and, well, he said, if you don't run away with me, I'm going to kill myself. And, and he, did, ha he well, did have a gun, right? <laughs> no, he certainly did not. Where did that come from? Dad, dad, no. Dad says no, he had a gun. That's dad's. Come on. I don't know where he got that from. It's not happened. Didn't happen. Didn't own a gun, even. All right. Uh -uh. No way. That was your father's, uh, the, the writer's imagination. Do you have anything to say to the YouTubers, your fans? You have fans. I don't well, have fans. You have thousands <laughs> of fans online. Oh, I don't believe it, but I want to say thank you to all of you. You've been very loyal, and I don't know how you put up with me and Matt. Thanks for everything, and uh, maybe we'll do this again sometime. Oh, yeah. Great. Like, mm -hmm.
You should have taken a picture of the flowers. I should take a picture of the flowers? Sure. Oh, there you go. There's a picture of the flowers. I brought you more flowers, though. Remember that? Oh, my God. Do I remember <laughs> that? I've got the scratch on the table. There is my... no scratch. You want to see there it? There is no scratch on this table. All right. I, every time I see There it is. Where? A nick right and there. A nick. A one little nick. Like, I can't even... Where is it? I can't even... Where? There you saw it. Where is it? There it is, oh right. Oh, my God. That's... That is... But that's from your pots that you put down. That is... You can't see. I cannot see. Okay, Matt. I just want to tell you I'm going to miss you very much and enjoy Washington, D.C., because I certainly used to. <clears throat> when you and your brothers were little, I used to love to visit. So say it hi to Washington for me. And give mom and Luke my love.